again, that's same again down the backhand side. Lovely straight ball. Yeah, well, there's a couple of problems here for Lopez. He's well, Edmund Lopez is really absorbing a huge amount of pressure from Leo out. That's a brilliant finish. Width on the cross court, not, not quite right from uh, the local player. Well, that's a good length. Pressure's on, and what a brilliant rally there from Edmund Lopez. there from Lopez. Yes, yeah, well put away from Leo Ao, who's managed to open up a three-point lead here. Three nice positive rallies. Doesn't like taking too many risks on no. that. Even when he takes the ball into the front, it always seems heavy. He's putting extra pace on it and, and making sure that it's sending it in positively rather than with a lot of finesse. But that's going to be a stroke to Leo out. And he manages to break away from the midpoint of that second game. <laughs> wow. How <laughs> <laughs> did you do that? Brilliant. I tell you what, he was sat, sat down on the floor. He got some serious pace on the ball up that as well, didn't he? Yeah. Nice, simple cross court. Volley kill for Leo out. Yeah, fair play to uh, the young Steelers. Leo out a lot to do. But uh, he uses uh, good deception. Nice first round flash. That's well taken again. Leo Ao just needing one of his opportunities to seal that third game. Solid finish. Well, there it is again. Four and drop. is the back wall boast there from Edmund Lopez and Leo Ao, after a very very tough day at the office manages to find a way to dispatch Edmund Lopez in 61 minutes 9 11 11 7 11 4 11 8 does it surprise you that they only met once Super? That's surprising. Well, that's obviously just on the PSA tour. Yeah. yeah. It was recently as well as at the Wimbledon Cup. Now, this is really positive stuff from Chris Simpson. Been very proactive on that. Uh, and that's well straight and really shaped up for the cross court there. 
Absolutely launched that ball down the far inside wall. Yeah, he opened up the shot. Well, it's good movement from Chris Simpson in that rally. Proving really tough for Masters to break down. Impressive stuff from Simpson. 11-4 that first game. Seeing Simpson take a four-point lead. Uh, that's exactly what I mean about Chris Simpson, the way that he can just really create such action on the ball with that open racket face. Look how... Almost invincible in there, but that's high quality stuff though from Josh Masters. He took that one off his toes on the half volley mm. and then followed it up with a really good drop shot. There you go, it's cleaned him up in that second game. Punishing anything that's loose. Frustration and anger from Josh Masters at himself. him you can't believe it <laughs> had it all that rally it did it's pretty entertaining stuff <laughs> brilliant improvisation from simpson and after four game balls it's now chris simpson who has a match ball There's a stroke to Masters. go lifeline for Josh Masters yeah, that's quality from Simpson the both played with real accuracy really dragged Masters out into that front left corner it means that if you can just stop someone slightly and you hit the ball quite fast, like Masters does, you can get it into a space in behind them very quickly. Yeah, such an energy sapping movement to have to make as well, of course. Nice, right, so like the flat uh, Masters oh, have that. played that. Thank Rewarded you. with the nick. Superb finish there. Chops it in. Thank you very much. Once Simpson's finished drying the court. Well, there he goes, put it away nicely. He didn't get that one, Paul. It's clever, really clever from Josh Masters. Oh, that's oh really how good is that? <laughs> that's superb. Cool as a cucumber. At eight five up. <laughs> Nicely done. Still three match balls for Masters. Well, there you go, it's that hold and drive. Masters comes back from two love down to win this all English clash. Great fight back 
from the young Englishman. 67 minutes in duration. 3-2 for Masters. Interesting heart rate below 30. Really? it when you get the veterans of the tour they, they're still this is fresh faced in terms of their enthusiasm for the game I mean we just saw Rachel Grinham leaving and she was pleased as punch with her performance just to have been on there playing well that's uh, one of the main reasons they probably are well in the error from Tumulant First blood goes to Tsifong Yip. And again with the counter. First ball in, it's not good enough. He's just being picked off, isn't he? When he takes that ball in short, he's getting onto it very quickly and Tumen are not able to cover. The it's the third air shot of the day. Yep, and four game balls for Tsifong Yip. Oh, it's a good shot. Even better response from Tumen and Anunen. What a count. What a big rally. Just clipping the top of the tin there, Tumlin. So second game goes to Tifong Yip. Yeah, really good. Read Tumlin so well there, got onto it, and just punched the ball through down the line. That is impressive. Yeah, it's a great shot. Exceptional stuff from Tumlin. Ball behind him. Well, the follow-up, he's leathered it down the line. Very solid performance from the Hong Kong player. So more home interest guaranteed in the next round. Just 30 minutes for T Fung Yip against the experienced Oli Tuminen, taking it 11-4, 11-8, 11-6. For Parker, especially on the backhand volley. He's dictating play up there and he's got a lot of options. He can hit all four corners from that area and have shown it and it, it just keeps Grayson guessing at the moment. Yeah, he mixes pace quite well as well, Parker. But, yeah, but again though, it, he's being allowed to hit through that middle area of the court and Grayson just has to work out how he can take that area away from his gun barrel straight down the middle of the court. Those shots that Grayson's not dealing with at all. That little hold at the top of his swing and then the late decision to flick it cross court. Well, it's a well finished shot. I don't think he's going to get any joy here. Oh, he is. It was a let ball. I'm surprised by that. I thought it was a winning shot. Immediately reviewed, obviously. Oh, that's interesting. My gut was no let. Let's see what the video referee says. The well, video referee's also gone for a no let, so that confirms the first game for George Parker, his players, to, to have a lot of options from a one position. So they get themselves into position and they can hit any of the corners, obviously in different ways. And 
because he's able to do that and he's doing it with great control, it's just keeping control of Grayson's movement and that's not allowing the New Zealander to actually get into it. So if he can get that... Act so again, it's that awareness from Parker. He wasn't sure about the pickup of Grayson, but he just followed in behind it and then it didn't really matter because he just thumped the next one away. down from Grayson an impressive second game from George Parker building on that first 2 11 4 slightly less resistance in that one from Grayson problem for Grayson is he just went the wrong way there, slightly wrong footed himself. Well there you go, it's the backhand volley, a fitting end really from Parker because it's the backhand volley that dominated proceedings in that match. Strong performance from the English player. 43 minutes beating a very difficult opponent, Campbell Grayson, 3-love.